Poppin' everybody, how's everyone doing this afternoon? This is your boy Ivan again. Now we're finally gonna look at the season finale of Death Battle, the highly requested, the highly anticipated Thanos vs. Darkseid, Marvel vs. DC. This is gonna be a very fun one, while this wasn't the one I personally have not requested, but I definitely anticipated it because it's literally on every single comment section and every reaction and Death Battle video. So this one's definitely gonna be a lot of fun to watch. Now, who do I think is gonna win? I have no idea because this could seriously go either way with either Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet or Darkseid's um, Anti-Life Equation. I don't know how this is gonna go, so, so yeah, so I, just, I don't know. So I'm just gonna check out the analysis and then give my thoughts before the, before the actual battle. So let me just stop talking and let me get the reaction started. The link to this video will be in the description down below. Please sit back and enjoy. Let's get going. Some I'm excited for this one. Lives in search of it, while for others, it is their birthright. But what yeah. truly matters in the end is how it's used. Like with Thanos, the ultimate villain of the Avengers. And Darkseid, arch nemesis to the Justice League. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. <laughs> and, and it's our job to analyze their, their weapons, weapons armor, and skills, skills to, to find out who would win a death battle. battle. Hell yeah, that animation looks sick. <laughs> I can't wait for this. When mankind's evolution first broke away from the apes, the cosmic celestials arrived on Earth. They experimented on the human race, creating three separate variants. The powerful and beautiful Eternals, destined for immortality. Yeah. Those with a latent mutated gene, which would one day spawn the X-Men. And a deformed, disturbing subspecies known as the Deviants. Like that one website with all the board. What? <laughs> anyway, the Eternals eventually the colonized fuck? the moons of Saturn thanks to this science wizard named Mentor, whose collar's like the lampshade I put on my dog to make him stop licking his junk. Charming. <laughs> but while the Eternals seemed like a perfect people, oh Mentor's my God. own son would change this forever and force the cosmos to its knees. His name Sorry if you was Thanos. Thanos. Sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. It's, it's hot in my room. Prepare to meet your doom. Thanos was born into a life of luxury. Sure, his mom went totally insane and tried to kill him right away, but what do you think you'd do if you popped out a creepy California raisin Gross. baby? It seems the Celestials I, in a way, don't blame her. so different from each other. Despite his eternal heritage, Thanos' large... So was his mom human or... Eh, whatever. Skin were thanks Six to foot seven, 985 pounds, 2,235, eternal, drone, home to a titan, the Mad Titan, purple Shrek, occupation, for farmer, pirate, fact, god. Thanos was greatly admired for his exceptional intelligence and creativity. He was set for a positive and decorated future. Until he threw it all away for a girl. Hey, I don't blame him. Lots of guys do crazy shit for hot chicks. Especially when you're a secret murder-happy psycho who's obsessed with the physical manifestation of death. To earn death's reciprocal love, Thanos took Thanos a journey. to extinguish a life to curb to over ravage the universe in her the name. Normal in as an eternal, he had plenty of superhuman death. power to do it. He was already the strongest and fastest eternal around, but he boosted his power even more with bionic and magic enhancements. And while his physical and psionic abilities are impressive, his incredible genius led to building massive spaceships, shields that can withstand planet-level attacks, and even a time window. And cool. the most badass throne ever! It comes packed with its own laser weapons, light speed travel, and it can teleport through space and time. And unlike most that gonna be part of the battle? Thanos has also dabbled Maybe. in the mystic arts. Petrification, curses, even some of his throne's abilities seem to be more magic than hard science. All of this potential makes Thanos an incredibly physiology, energy manipulation, Python, yeah, telepathy, to telekinesis, personal, personal force fields, robotic drones, status rifle, even and shot himself in cosmic the face with it just to prove how goddamn awesome he is. Don't try that at home, kid. <laughs> yeah, don't. He's strong enough to overpower two Thors at once. Two Thors? A universal weapon known for its extreme durability, and even lift the gargantuan Galactus engine. A Here's giant a mask. super rocket big enough to move planets. According to Mr. Fantastic, and that guy knows his stuff, this thing is hundreds of miles long. While the Galactus engine's size seems to vary from comic to comic, Reed's assertion matches its appearance when it propelled Ego the Living Planet. 
by examining the engine in three separate parts, of course. applying the density of steel, and comparing Ego's diameter of 4,165 miles. Who comes up with the math the in this? Must be lifting about 50 quintillion tons. Jesus. That's like holding up 140 trillion. He has this hotel with cosmic beings like Galactus and Odin, but without the Infinity Gauntlet, he has difficulty planet, against their full power. Planets and even stars. Man, I thought I had an iron stomach. But destroying a star is easily the most overpowered person in the Marvel universe. Be absorbed and adapted to. Only by completely nullifying a star's constant energy output can it be eliminated. So okay. Ego's stomach acid must be deadlier than freaking supernovas or a black hole. He'd probably love Mama Boomstick's world famous ghost pepper. Ew. Ugh. It's fine. Just dip it <laughs> Gross. Surviving the stomach of ego isn't so far fetched for <laughs> the black hole to survive. Had it even arrived in two light years from the black hole, it would have released a total of energy from the two hundred seventy-four six hundred and ten to TNT. That's enough to destroy the galaxy. Damn. Survive the black hole, survive Odin's power, broke the cosmic rod, destroyed galactic engine, power through the nexus of reality, had to play so hard to explode it. Osmodi Grandmaster, although Thanos isn't known for being killed half the universe's population, he's still quick enough to battle the light. OP. Surfer, a being who can and this is without the gauntlet. Light years in just a couple of seconds, putting him over three trillion times faster than light. With so many impressive Shit. showings, it's hard to truly find a weakness. Except for one. The fuck? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be here. Uh, nice to see you again, Deadpool. Slayer of Deathstroke, What's he doing? Slayer of ponies and breaker What's he doing of bad Titan hearts. And like Casanova, the ravenous Reaper can't get enough of me. Thanos just hates that. Ooh. So Thanos <laughs> did curse him, so he couldn't die and be with her. I know, right? He's a big purple crybaby. Have you seen that chin, though? It's like he got hit in the face with a slap chop. Don't you have, like, a party in <laughs> Ponytown to be in? Ah, come on, buddy. You can't have a death battle season without Deadpool, right? We did. The last one. <laughs> Nobody can yeah. one. I mean, that's a year you pit a dog in a trench coat against a goddamn bear. <laughs> 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 yeah. Good point. Whatever. I know what I'm not wanting. That was a good battle, though. If you haven't check it, check it out. Out. Oh, good riddance. Even with all of these powers and abilities, Thanos felt he needed something more to impress death. Think he's compensating for something with? Clearly. Absolutely. So he built the Some women are not worth a fighting for. Which harnessed the power of six multicolored gems, known as Infinity Stones. The Infinity Stones. Cones. With these, the he Infinity could control Gauntlet. the full spectrum of power space, stone, reality, mind, power, and soul, and time. Originally red, now purple. And with those powers combined, power power he summons Captain Planet. He summons Captain Planet. Well, what? more like the destruction of half the universe, but sure, whatever. Steve? Yeah, it's overpowered as fuck. Eh, same difference. But wait, isn't the Time Stone the green one in Doctor Strange's necklace? Well, in the movie universe, the Time Stone is green, but in the original comic series, it's orange. This is because every universe has its own unique Recently, infinity the Earth gauntlet that works exclusively there. Destroyed and, destroyed and sometimes, the stones are different in color. Here, just follow this handy diagram and yeah, don't care. So with all okay. the stones, he wiped out half the universe with only a snap of his fingers. But he also started going a bit crazy and began to doubt his ability to perform. Hey, How do you go crazy with powers like that? It never keeps the Mad Titan at bay for long whose constant lust for power and godly status in the universe is only matched by his drive to just kill everybody. Uh, it. Run from it. Dude, Darkseid's gonna have one hell of an opponent. And now it's here. Can't wait to see what Darkseid's gonna do next. I am. Alright, now Darkseid. Let's see what you got, Ten homeboy. Ten million years ago, the primeval old gods clashed in a cosmic civil war called Ragnarok. That the one with Thor and Jeff Goldblum? No. Yes, uh, kind of. Uh, also, DC so had their own the Ragnarok was an explosion then. That's cool. That tore the gods asunder, sending a great god wave throughout the metaverse, eventually birthing a new generation known as the New Gods. How original! Well, some of these include <laughs> Alpine Space Skier, Fancy Pants Shakespeare, and this cyborg spider Humpty Dumpty. The fuck is that? These guys ended up on a beautiful <laughs> paradise world Sorry. called New Genesis. Well, the rest got stuck on an actual fireball called Apocalypse. Boy, the K. Among these damned souls was Prince Euxus, second in line to the throne behind his older brother is that... Drax. Yeah. Not Dave Batista Drax, but DC Drax. Oh man, I really oh. like that guy. <laughs> Is 
not afraid to see what he's thinking. That's true. Horrifying to look at. Yes. <laughs> to rule apocalypse, he's an Rex asshole. Was meant to enter the mysterious Omega Pit and absorb the Omega Effect, a force of destructive omega entropy effect. bound within Apocalypse. Never like knew about that. The crafty bastard he was, Uxus tricked DC Drex into getting killed and stole the loot for himself. And so the Omega Effect transformed Uxus into the physical manifestation of tyranny, Dark, Dark Side. Side. Now what? Now you. As the king of apocalypse, eight feet nine, one thousand eight hundred fifteen pounds, two hundred forty-five thousand. New God, Uxus, Dead Lord, God of Evil, enjoy sitting in other people's chairs. Every Christmas, Santa gives him a lump of coal. <laughs> and thanks to his new God physiology, he has incredible superhuman strength, speed, agility, and even immortality. He's already over two hundred forty-five thousand years old, and that's given him plenty of time to push the limits of the Omega. Effect. Okay, so he has He's way more experience than Thanos. Okay. That break all the rules of nature. He can teleport across time and space, fly at unthinkable speeds, warp reality around him, and grow supersized. Something he's pretty used to doing. The scale between the Prime Universe and Darkseid's own universe, the Fourth World, is vast. He travels between universes via boom tubes, which automatically adjusts his boom size tubes. to what is considered normal within his destination. Otherwise, he'd have a hard time fitting in, given that the normal size of a new god is about the size of a star. Jesus. Oh yeah, I've had that kind of trouble with my boomstick tube. He can use various psionic <laughs> powers like telekinesis and telepathy, and can easily manipulate sentient beings thanks to a cosmic awareness of the multiverse powered by 18 divine senses. You know, so it's almost like fourth wall he awareness he type thing? Like a space I guess not, but still, it's what it sounds like. possess living or deceased beings, controlling them like puppets. He can even control basic inanimate objects, just like the Nomad of Nowhere. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice cameo. Uh, Wiz, never thought I'd say this, but I might have had too much to drink. But Darkseid's deadliest technique you is think? his signature Omega. New God physiology. These burning physiology. lasers of hate are capable of instant sharp turns and tracking multiple targets at once. They're splitting up. They can do that? They're locked off. On contact, the beams can either disintegrate their target. Transmute matter. It raced the Omega Beam turns invisible and faces the object to reach the target. They can also lock up the target on my frequency, making it nearly impossible to avoid. Nearly impossible since Batman able to do it. Number of lives for eternity. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad. I just do a Bill Murray and use all those lives to learn piano or save a dog or. Yeah, that's probably about it. Well, <laughs> of there's course. a catch. Each life in the sanction gets progressively worse as it goes, including how you die. When Jeez. the third Mr. Miracle was trapped in it, he was fairly unaware until he was beaten, burned, mutilated, and castrated, broken to a point of intentionally overdosing. Oh my god. And that was just his first life in the sanction. Damn. Uh, no thanks. Uh, yeah, okay. no. To overpower the multiverse, Darkseid would face some pretty steep competition. However, his power equals Dude, even death won't save you from Darkseid. Heroes around. He's fast enough to take a trip to the source wall in just a few seconds. That's at the very edge of existence. So, like, you're not going to be able to map quest that shit. <laughs> the edge of the observable universe is about 45 billion exists? light years away. And scientists hypothesize the actual scale is over 100 sextillion times greater. It took Damn. a whole year for the legendary Helm of Nabu to make this journey. Yeah, I remember that. Dark side, all of five seconds. To pull this off, he'd have to be moving over 87 duodecillion times the speed of light. Duodecillion? Totally what is with these terms? Duodecillion? Yoda Town? Nina Town? What? Uh, I cannot wait to. I cannot wait to see one more. Technically, the fourth world is four yeah. billion years older than our own universe, so the distance to the edge is probably even further. He's so quick. Damn, he man. Survive the bomb designed to move from part existence. Move to the first one second. Destroy a planet with a mega beam. Put the beam into his reign. His own death collapsed reality. Outsmart the other sense sources. Defeat both pre and post crisis Superman. Oh, shit. Oh, he's OP as fuck, man. I think he's going to win. And wipe out the Justice League with a single strike. Even with all this power, Darkseid believed he could not dominate the universe until he discovered his ultimate prize. The, the anti-life -life equation. equation. Ha! I knew numbers were bad for you! Take that, Miss Jensen, and your stupid ruler! 
<laughs> He's like, I got nothing to say. He got you there, bro. From which all life originates. However, Darkseid discovered a formula which essentially manipulates the anti-life's presence in all living things, in a manner which definitively proves that all freedom and hope are meaningless efforts. So it's mad that just makes Damn. you sad. That's yes, deep. And a slave to Darkseid, but yes. So the anti-life is pretty weird, but you know what's even more so? The dark side that you think you know isn't actually dark side. You say what now? What? He became the very essence of tyranny itself. This non-corporeal How... god rests in the higher plane of fourth world and molds avatars of his consciousness to interact with the multiverse around him. While each avatar oh, is so it's like the Sigma virus, but more OP. That's what it sounds like. As his own existence in the universe, universe other than the fourth world, world would shatter the laws of reality, ending time okay, and space whatever. as we know it. The Shit. sheer power of the Omega effect threatens entire cosmos, similar to how its equal, the Astro Force, could counter an Oblivion Bomb, capable of annihilating the universe is considered a as an entirely blast. Omega effect of the Omega Shit. Battle, is capable of destroying His the universe. His avatar may lose some power, 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 but it's still tough yeah, enough to survive a bomb Superman. Lex Luthor designed to rip apart a Yeah, if he could be pre-Christ as Superman, Master Blaster, I don't... He like may have an extremely good chance of winning. kind of makes sense, because apparently no life form Not saying too much, but still, it's it's still impressive. Except Ew. for Darkseid. Well, Gross. Darkseid isn't immune to all guns. All you need is a neat little Radeon bullet. Think of Radeon as the new god's kryptonite. Despite all his power, Darkseid is far from invincible. He's really? He's had his heart ripped out, his soul stolen by death, and his essence shattered by Superman, uh, singing. Hey, Darkseid! Look at this photograph! <laughs> <laughs> Even after so many cataclysmic <laughs> events, the Lord of Look Apocalypse continues his mission. Jesus. Every living being in the multiverse will bend to the will of Darkseid. Of Dark Side. It seems I don't know anymore. I don't know who's taking this anymore. Though your world will suffer slowly, I grant you a quick death. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video and give my thoughts afterwards, and then we're gonna get on to the actual battle. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate. Fuck, though. I don't know anymore. But first, I need something that can sate my godly hunger. Guys, that was the, the pre-analysis, and uh, after seeing that, I'm still kind of torn because they're both just so fucking overpowered. But um, if I have to lean at least, if I have to lean towards one, I'm going to say dark side just because... He has that thing where, you know, his real body is only in the in the fourth world universe or whatever it's called. And which is essentially like the Sigma virus where, you know, he has a whole bunch of bodies, but his real form is somewhere else. I don't know if Thanos Infinity Gauntlet can exploit that. Because I did read somewhere that um, his um, Infinity Gauntlet doesn't work in another universe. And the fourth world universe is a separate universe. So I don't know if it'll affect that. But like I said, I'm not too sure. I don't know what death battle, you know, is going to anticipate this or... Or not anticipate, but like, how are they going to come up with that result? So, just on that aspect alone, the fact, and also the fact that he canonically defeated pre crisis Superman, who obviously sneezed an entire soul system away. So, you can't get more overpowered than that, you know? Maybe you can. It's DC. It more than likely can't get overpowered than that. So, on that alone, plus the fact that I don't think his Infinity God is going to work in, um, True Dark Side universe, and the fact that uh, he's significantly older, has a lot more experience. In that regard, I'm going to say Dark Side's gonna win. I could be wrong, and maybe I am, but this is ultimately can go either way. So, now that that's out the way, let's get into the battle. Why you can teleport? It'll send you through time and space, and it's perfect for gaming. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> sure you do. He's chatting with he's chatting with Dark Side. Oh shit. Hey, hey, Thanos! Buddy! <laughs> how, how are you doing? Rocking that chin as always! <laughs> <laughs> Turn the confetti. Get off my throne. Oh, this animation is gorgeous, oh, man! At the hand of your new emperor. You know not the infinite wealth of destruction I command. Oh god, this is sick! This is so beautiful! Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> Fight! <laughs> oh! Boom! To the knee. <laughs> He's doing all backhanded too. I mean, hands behind his back, rather. I this music sick. I like it. 
dare strike me for the stop to make for the sweet release of gas. You first. A switch of reality. I don't know. <laughs> That's even bothering him. He starts to head by his back falling. That's funny. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This is so well choreographed. All right. Oh. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. Thanos? <laughs> really? That's a product placement or something? Oh man, this music is perfect. Look how chill he is, and it's just like Thanos just coming at him. He's like, bitch, please. Mega Beam. Oh. oh, this shit is intense! Oh, nice move. What are you gonna do now? He chucking Jupiter at him. These two have no regard for life at all, so... <laughs> I am Thanos. Thanos is supreme. Thanos Great. is God. Great voice acting, too. I'm about to say, there's no fucking way it's over that quickly. What is he doing now? He's... Oh, uh, he's star- he's star size now. <laughs> he's taking the entire universe with him. Uh, I think I know he can grow size too, well, I mean, it's obviously he could, I don't know why- Those planets are breaking on him like Orbeez, like nothing. This is everything we've been wanting to see. This is fucking amazing. I don't know why I'm not one of the people who were excited about this, but I regret not being excited, but I'm so happy now. This is fucking amazing. What's happening? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening now? These games bore me, but this will bring a smile to my face. It's not gonna work, this is avatars, right? Yeah. It'll have to work. <laughs> This is fun. He's is he gonna take it to the fourth world dimension? Yeah, he is. This is probably this is the best animated fight ever. This is easily the best one. Hands fucking down. This there he fire. is. It's not gonna work. That's just what I talked about. It doesn't work in another universe. It ain't gonna work. I think he's screwed. I think Thanos is done. I think he's... This is who I am. Not gonna work, bro. What the? F 
That's it. <laughs> That's a wrap, right? That's a, it's over. Behold, it's done. It's done. So you watching any anime? <laughs> Yo, oh, I got something to talk about that later. Now he's gonna be dying over and that over was fucking and amazing! Thanos was an incredible okay, let's hear why. Thanks to the mind, soul, and reality stones, Thanos could even resist the anti life ball. equation. That's what yeah, I figured. Golden Glove only works in its own universe. And Thank you! That's what I was just thinking! That's what I read! That it doesn't work in other universes! Is kind of his thing. The yeah! Of the, Interdimensional Council of the Infinity Stones stone are tied to their own universe, while the Space Stone travel powers are limited to their own. God damn, I'm not finished. But discovered that they couldn't work outside of their own universes. The gauntlet had no problem making Darkseid's avatar not feel so good. But yeah. since Darkseid's true form was always in the fourth world universe, Thanos couldn't actually finish him off with the gauntlet. Exactly. Even if this fight took place the in the entirely neutral territory, to be Dark Side, the victory wouldn't the change. change. Thanos' gauntlet would work, work, and true Darkseid's presence <laughs> would actually just destroy everything just by being there. But he didn't Damn jets! Because of the gauntlet, he really couldn't keep up with the space golem. Even going toe to toe with it being as fast as Silver Surfer was nothing. When the Silver Surfer traveled across the universe, he used a wormhole to cover this much of it. This implies he cannot read the extreme equivalent to Dark Side. That's true. Times faster than Thanos. Yeah. And his Omega effect scales to the Astro Force, which could equal the Oblivion. So he didn't even need the anti life equation to match the Infinity Gauntlet. The, the total mass energy in the universe is around 46 septillion foes, with one foe equivalent to energy of supernova. He was 3.5 to 7 times powers, greater than Thanos' black hole feet. Once he lost the okay. Gauntlet, Thanos could certainly survive star level While attacks. While scratching the ball, Dr. could remove Thanos from his own universe. Dr. is an extra is manipulator, and the matter will otherwise be a stalemite. It's likely Dr. could that, exploit Thanos' manners. Yeah. The fight whenever he wanted, like the Omega Sanction. Yeah, okay. Was super powerful, that was just fantastic. I loved it. Stronger and even more ruthless. And if you think about it, Thanos needed the Infinity Gauntlet to become a god. But Darkseid already, already is. was one. Yeah. Thanos just couldn't run, run the gauntlet. Now oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> the winner is Darkseid. Woo! Great job, Darkseid. Hey, that was this probably the best battle. This is... The battle, you can get it after the bullshit battles I've seen, this was... This is... Oh, okay. Okay. That's Death Battle will return. With a splash. Okay, so... Splatoon? Guys, that was exactly what I hoped this battle would be. The animation is gorgeous. The choreography was perfect. The voice acting was stellar. It, it was easily the best battle in this entire series. Easily the best. Seriously, they did not disappoint with anything. It all looked absolutely amazing. It was funny. It was like... <laughs> Guys, I'm speechless right now. That was so fucking amazing. Especially the ending, though. It's like, so you watch watching anime? <laughs> I have a friend who I do podcasts with. His name's John. Anytime no one joins, he's always he's always calling if someone's watching anime. And I hope he watches this because he's going to laugh his ass off when he sees that. <laughs> this was such an awesome battle. I loved every single second of it. I hope you guys did, too. As for, at the very end, when it says the next episode is going to be a splash, I'm guessing it's going to be a Splatoon character is going to be next. Although, I never played a Splatoon character, so I don't know what they're capable of. I don't know, you know, if it is going to be Splatoon, I'm not sure. But just based on the paints, like the paint effects in the background, it's like the next one's going to be a splash. More than likely, it's going to be Splatoon. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. So, like I said, I've never played a Splatoon game. I would like to. It looks fun, but I haven't had a chance to, so... Anywho, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. This was a lot of fun to do, and I hope you guys loved it. If you guys have anything else you want me to react to, please leave it in the comment section down below. Be sure to put on post notifications so you never miss what I do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. I love you guys.